Hey YouTube! Um, first of all, I want to apologize for taking so freaking long to get this Q&A up um, from Instagram last week. I just haven't really been home much and you know I did the home tour one the other day so uh, here I am. Um, I came outside because it's really really nice out today and I locked myself out. So I'm waiting for my landlord to come and let me back in. But luckily I had already written down the list of questions you guys asked me on my Instagram. And I kind of wanted to have like a stable camera on this one, you know, sit down, like answer these questions for you. But I don't have that opportunity and I'm literally sitting out here. I don't even have shoes on. I can't. So you know what? This is how I'm going to do it. So the reason I did this is because I feel like I get questions every once in a while, um, not always fitness related, but just about like who I am and like where I'm from and like kind of about my life. So I figured I give the platform out there for you guys to ask me whatever you want to know. Um, so I'll do a few of these later on if you guys like them. You know, if you do like them, just let me know. Um, like this video, subscribe, and I'll do more of them. I'm also going to the gym later and filming a glute and leg workout, and I have like three other videos that I'm editing to put up. So lots coming your way. All right. So the first question I have is. I should have thought about this. <laughs> I did not think about any of these questions before I decided to film today, so I'm put on the spot. Um, my first question was, if you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? Oh my goodness. One word. Um, I think I would choose the word I would choose caring um, and I think a lot of different words go into that kind of like umbrella and what I mean by that is I just genuinely care so much about one my friend my family Scott um, you know my most inner circle like they mean everything to me and then I care so much about you know, my, my co-workers and my acquaintances and people I don't see very often. And, and then I, I care so much about, you know, you guys and like people I don't know. And I feel like I, it's really easy for me to relate to people and to understand where they're coming from, you know, different hardships, different, you know, negative things going on in their lives, different positive things going on in your lives. And I just feel like I always want to do what's right and I always want to do what's best for everyone. So I think that would probably be the word I would choose. The next question is a fitness related one and that is when did you start working out? In an hour. When my landlord lets me in. <laughs> um, I started working, okay, well. I know I kind of talked about this in like my first video ever, my fitness journey. Um, I was a dancer when I was younger. I quit that and was a competitive gymnast and I did that for seven years, six years. Um, got two injuries on my ankles and decided, and, you know, it was taking over my life and I decided, you know, this, I want to have like a normal life. I don't want to spend my entire life in, you know, in the gym. <laughs> Look at where I am now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so then I got, I started running track. Um, I did eight seasons of that in high school. I was a sprinter, pole vaulter. I threw um, discus and shot put when they needed me to. I wasn't very good at the jumping though. <laughs> but my best event was pole vault. Um, and then I was cheerleader my last two years in high school and that was really fun. Um, but once I got to college, I kind of, I didn't have a, a sport and so I still kind of went to the gym. I lifted like super light weights, like two pounds, five pounds, um, did a lot of cardio and I was also drinking a lot of beer and eating a lot of crap. And my first year in college, I ended up gaining about 30 pounds. Um, I knew it was like happening, but I, you know, it wasn't. I wasn't fat, I was just a little chunkier than I was, you know, previously in high school. But I was also going to modeling acting school at the same time. So 
once a competition came up that I was going to in New York City for a week, it was an acting and modeling competition, um, my agent basically told me that she wasn't going to enter me into the bikini competition. Um, she said, you know, look at you, she was stand up, look at your hips, you know, you've gained so much weight this year and she's like, I just, you're not going to get anywhere in it. And she's kind of the one that introduced me the very, very basics of clean eating. And she said, I can enter, I still have, you know, well, I think it was like six weeks or something like that to enter, but she was like, you need to lose some weight for me to do that. And so I was very motivated. And you know, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I can't believe she said that, blah, blah, blah. It was tough to hear, but it was also very true. And it gave me the motivation I needed. And it, it excelled me to my passion and my love for, for fitness and nutrition. And so I'm so grateful that she said that. I'm so grateful that happened. And um, so I started eating clean and I still was working out, you know, that same way for another year. And then my, after my sophomore year in college, that was when I started um, learning how to lift. I asked my one friend, Eric, that you guys have probably seen in my Snapchats and stuff, um, you know, can you teach me a little bit about lifting? And he did a little bit and um, I just really grew into loving it. So it's been about five years now that I've been eating clean and about four I've been lifting um, seriously. And I plan on never stopping. <laughs> Um, my next question, I'm kind of going to breeze over these two. Um, one is, will you marry me? The answer is no. I love my boyfriend very much. <laughs> um, and I got a few questions on being ticklish, and I'm just going to say yes, I am. Um, the next question is, where are you from? So, I was born in Philly, and I lived outside of Philly about 45 minutes for basically my entire life until I went to college and then I went to Penn State. Um, I went to two different campuses. One was in Reading, Pennsylvania and then the other one was the main campus in State College. And then I moved back home for about two years and now I live and work, or I live outside of Harrisburg and I work in Harrisburg. So that's where I live now. The next question is what kind of music do you like and who is your favorite artist or band? Um, I'm not gonna be that person that says, I like all music. No, you don't. <laughs> um, I, my two favorite kinds of music are country and electronic music, EDM. Um, you probably know that from all the concerts and festivals I go to. <laughs> um, I know people always are saying like, oh my God, like, those are so different. Like, how do you like both of those? Well, they're not really all that different because for the most part, they're both very like positive, feel good like music. And so I really like the country for the words and I really like EDM for like the dancing and the feeling. So that would be my favorite. Um, artist wise, my favorite country artist is Brett Eldridge. And I got to see him with Scott last November, which is really awesome. And then my favorite EDM artist was Cruella until Rain Man left. And now it is Yellow Claw, who I saw in, well, I've seen him a few times, but I saw him last in Atlantic City in February with Scott. So that was really fun. And we'll go out with a nutrition question, and it's a little loaded, so I'm not really sure where we're gonna go with this. Um, how do you handle your dietary needs daily? Um, it's a very broad question. Um, I'm not exactly 100% of like what kind of answer you're looking for for that. Um, like I've said in my supplement video, I believe that eating whole foods, nutritious foods, natural foods is the most important thing. Getting enough water in, super important. And making sure you're not taking in too much crappy food. You know, fast food and sugar and alcohol. Um, I do think supplements are good to take daily to supplement the food you're not getting in. I think a multivitamin is very good to take. I think a fish oil or a krill oil is really good to take. Um, Sometimes when I'm trying to check in and like see, you know, am I, how many calories am I eating a day, like blah, blah, blah. I'm not a macro counter, 
but sometimes I will do that for like a week or like five days just to make sure like I'm on point. Um, so I guess I would say that I track it, you know, every few months just to make sure I'm getting enough calories in because you can't build muscle if you're not gaining, if you're not like getting in enough calories. So it really just depends on what my goal is at that moment in time. Right now, I'm kind of trying to lean out a little bit, um, but I'm also lifting heavy and just doing a lot less cardio. Um, but I'm also eating pretty well. So like I said, I don't know if you, oh, duh, um, happy August. And I'm doing a no sugar August. My birthday is at the end of the month, August 30th. So I'm not gonna eat any sugar until cake time. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this Q&A. Um, this is my first one, so let me know if you like it in the comments. If you have more questions, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching.